homesteading to prepping to common horse sense, we are College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, today, uh, it's been a busy week here on the homestead, but I haven't, uh, haven't been doing a lot of things that transfer well to video. So, today, we're going to go harvest pumpkins. Now, I planted those pumpkins, but wasn't able to tend them. So, they grew up in a weed field. Uh, I planted them in the corn. Of course, the corn didn't make, because like I've always told you, if you don't keep the weeds out of it, for the most part, you don't get no corn. Well, I didn't get no corn, so that's, that's the way it went. But, I know there are pumpkins, because I've seen some. Now, I don't know how many. So, let's get down in the field and harvest the pumpkins. This is the uh, 18th of October. I planted them on the 18th of June. So, that's 120 days. So, these pumpkins ought to be good and ready. So, let's get down in the field and get them. Okay, there's the cornfield. And somewhere in all that bundle of weeds, there are pumpkins. Now, I can see some... Uh, flowers. Let's see if I can zoom you down to let you see some. I don't know if it'll let me zoom or not. That's as much as I'm going to get. I don't know if you can see any of the flowers. I see that the, they're bloomed out really good still. <clears throat> like I say, it's 120 days, so let's get on in there. And I'm going to go, this is on the hill garden. So I'm going to go down to the bottom of the hill and work my way up make it easier to pick them up. Here's the first pumpkin. Let's have a look at him. It's all the way out here out of the corn patch. It's out here on the edge. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut off this stem. Now I can just lift him right up. Now that is a pretty little pumpkin. Put him here in the bucket of the tractor. Oh! And up there and all that's hopefully some more. So let's get at finding them. a lot of green ones. There's several orange ones and there's a lot of green ones so I'm going to take the tractor and kind of go around 
so it'll be easier to put them in the tractor. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pumpkins that are ripe. And for every pumpkin that's ripe right here, there are at least five that aren't ripe down in the field. Now, this has been 120 days, so this is just the first flush of pumpkins off of these. There will be more. Uh, it's October the 18th. By October the 28th, there'll be this many again, if not more. Uh, I'll have plenty for my grandson to carve a pumpkin to give to the kids in the neighborhood. They range in size. I'll let you see the size and compare it to my head. I got a big old head though. Here's this one. That's the smallest one. And that's the biggest one. They're just right for jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. So, over the course of the next couple of weeks, I'll be getting those. Now, one thing I did discover, being off, I'm bad out of shape. Uh, that was kind of tough, walking through that high, high weeds and harvesting these. But I'll get back at it and get back in the groove. Now, if you like this stuff, this homesteading, do-it-yourself kind of thing, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this homestead stuff every week, sometimes one, sometimes five videos. Just depends on what's going on in the homestead that week. Now, if you click the little bell when you come to the channel, it'll notify you when we upload a video. We upload every Sunday. Now, with that being said, it's time for me to get on to the next thing.